Ah, my titties don't look great. Ah, your titties yeah. never look great. They just be out there. They I was worried up. about this shirt. Your titties I gotta just have be my fucking under. They just think a good it. color behind you, don't care. I like that color behind yeah, you. man. This is the Joker. This is the Joker setup. You look we call like it for uh, life serious. You look like a, a sexy California raisin. <laughs> <laughs> What did you want to tell me, man? Nothing, just that, you know. First first of all, let me tell you that Keisha E thought Harlem Nights was just okay. Actually, she didn't say that's okay. Black film. Keisha hates black film. I have to do the pop-up edits for her movies. And I'd be like, you just don't care about black film. You don't care about black cinema. Here's the thing. She didn't even say say it was okay. She said, I didn't see why everybody thought it was so funny. That's what she said. I said I chuckled, yes. It was a long time Keisha, ago. When the uh, when they shooting that quick and the dude has the one gun, he's shooting one at a time. That's the one scene everybody references, though. No, the, that's not the only the funny fight scene. scene with Della Reese, and even when uh when she was fixing Red Fox breakfast, she was like, "You gonna swallow? Give a leave a swallow of orange juice? Just he's a like, swallow? Shut up, you you fat bitch!" <laughs> <laughs> I don't expect nothing else that's from Keisha. She right. hates her people and she hates. I love. All the movies I loved, Waiting to Exhale, I loved. She named four oh, movies. I Out love. of 100 black movies in black cinema, she named four movies. And then, hold on, Kev, look at me. Check this out. <laughs> Pat has never seen Harlem Nights. What, Patrick? How you never seen the movie that I saw two years ago? This is ridiculous. Oh, so Kev is not even, a, the thing is that y'all don't even be in a position I've to seen talk it. about I've it. I've seen it, go, go Keisha. Hold on, and Keisha, I here's the thing. Before. The thing with Kev is, no one really expects him to see or know black cinema because Why? he's a church kid. Kev was a, uh, a the dance. only movie I hadn't seen was Harlem Nights. Hush to hear. Kev was a praise and worship dancer. I singer. saw your movie, Stuart Big. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> from the Big Apple. <laughs> I am not laughing. Bible yeah. goes rest. <laughs> Listen, Kev didn't start watching black cinema until he was a stand in oh, for Lisa Ray in play, Players Club. Lisa Way? Lisa Ray. Lisa Ray. <laughs> you said Lisa Way. Shut your thick ass up. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the day, you got cheeks, my boy. Oh, man. My boy, I don't girl. like standing either one of y'all, honestly. You say what? You say what? I don't, like, I don't like standing next to either one of y'all. Why? Because you got bigger hips than you? <laughs> Nobody no, told no. you to play basketball and you knew you were going to have a future in it. <laughs> you made your own hips go away. Keisha, you was hooping? Basketball yeah. doesn't make hips go away. But you know what? Gymnastics does tear your breast tissue. You oh, really? Is all it all the, all the pulling? Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, because they start doing it at a young age. Nobody does gymnastics at 17. You start doing it when you're young. And yeah, all I the did it when I motion, it ends up tearing your breast tissue. If you notice, all gymnasts are flat chested. Because of being a gymnast, or they just happen to be flat chested? <laughs> no, because of that. My doctor's a causal me. or a casual relationship. The <laughs> so way every time they stretch, they stretch, they like pull the titties back. Like because they're doing all of these motions and they're carrying like their weight, their body weight when they're young. You know what I mean? So as you're developing, yeah, it tears your breast tissue. I just I mean, seem like it would, it would just make you have saggy problem. titties. It don't mean it, it wouldn't seem like it would make you not have any titties. It seemed like it would just make saggy. You would have no kids and still have the saggy titties. That's what I would have thought. Yeah. Saggy no. titties. <laughs> saggy baggies. I just heard about the southern myth that I guess if you uh if if a if a kid is like wa- crawling too much, they they have ass later. Did you guys oh, have you guys that. heard about that? Okay. Everybody in the Zoom knew about it but me. I never heard. Problems. That's a weird problems. time to be worried about your kid having ass. <laughs> that could be a thing too. This I started. Any time is a weird time to worry about your kid having ass. That's, That's what I'm saying. So why why do people do that to make sure that they kid have like cakes? People like, force their kids to continue to crawl. No, I think if you walk too early or something, that you won't have that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. What was, but, but wait, it. what what was the myth around ever watching Harlem Nights? Cause why didn't you do it? What was the what was the myth around that, Pat? Nah, you ain't solid, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want Pat to know my mama is still pissed at him. Pat roasted Keisha's mama's oh, living room or her dining oh, room. Oh man, set that was so. For an hour funny. and thirty minutes, and the last yeah, ten room. minutes of the show, 
everybody turned against Pat and came at this nigga. They was like, I got his camera home. <laughs> oh, is that why your mom is mad at me? Yeah. She's like, tell him I got his little funeral home. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually, that actually works. Usually those don't make any sense, but that works. <laughs> yeah, where are you at? I'm still in St. Louis. I'm at a residence inn. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Two very. I showed up. My in St. Louis. That's my sister right there. She always got the blicky on her. Wow. The blicky this, she the one that brought us them uh them sandwiches. When? When we was here, you you was like, "Have you got to try this St. Louis?" Uh, it was like from a Chinese food place. The St. Paul's. Which from a Chinese yeah food? yeah St. Paul. No no I don't think that was, that might have been Dana no nah. this kid we all know we all know each other they all family but. Now this Kelby, me and Kelby went to the same college. Her mom really helped me out when I was in college. And she literally just keeps a gun with me anytime we're together so I don't have to hire security. She she got it on her now? You got damn right she do. Even while eating? I always wondered that. <laughs> look at her face. Look at her face. Well, she don't wanna she don't wanna uh you know indict herself. Yeah. Not, uh, hello. Is, <laughs> Listen, she scary, showed right? Hello. Remember that video, Pat, when I was like, I was like <laughs> showing your mask, she was like. I got this mask right here. She showed the little COVID mask, and she's like, "I got this protection right here." She just pulled out the blick. That was her. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So, 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 y'all do keep it while you eat. That mm -hmm. was my. We okay. used to put it on our laps. She's always on the table. She said, "Take my... off of whatever." It seems like everyone who gets shot at. Can't nobody run up on you, try to kill you. You ain't smoked like... enough. You ain't smoked enough blunts if you ain't never rolling a blunt and have somebody run up on you, try to kill you. While rolling a blunt? While rolling a blunt. It's just sitting on the like, like, play with me if you want to. Play with every, me. Play with me. <laughs> it seemed like every hood movie, they get shot while out eating at night. It's 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 always. Yeah, it's table. You said what a what? Or the gas station, yeah. My little cousin, when um when they was aiming for him, he was literally at the gas station and they started shooting at him. He took off and his flipped his car over. He lost like. This part, the top part of his fingers, Baron did. From the from the car flipping over? Mm hmm Cause it, like when it landed on his roof, like he was grabbed it and it landed on his fingers. So they had to they had to grow his fingers back. I didn't even know you could do that as an adult. As a shooting person. up a gas station is highly irresponsible. <laughs> I think it's okay. I call it some of the logical part of it. <laughs> you want to blow the whole place up? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Nothing about a drive-by is responsible, Patrick. Like, no niggas ain't like... like yes, right. there is. Yes, there is. You know, the niggas, who, and this is all movies, the niggas who be like, no kids, you know? No grandmas and no kids. And then they just, they don't... They, they don't really shoot. control that. I got caught up like, in You can't control a straight time. bullet. You can't, you, you sit down to the bug like, hey, listen to me. You better not. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking? Yes, you can control a state a stray bullet. You can just keep driving without shooting your guns out. You can just keep <laughs> driving. <laughs> That's how you control the stray bullets. Be like, oh, he's with his nana and keep driving. <laughs> he's nana? gonna eat that night. They always eat at night at a circular table, like you said. <laughs> that is true. That's happening in a lot now, of Now Ricky got shot in the daytime. He was he, okay. He was an exception, but I, I, I feel like, feel like why did they take him home and sit him on that couch like that? Where, where are they gonna go to the local hospital, Keisha? They didn't yes. have insurance. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you bleed out. We figured dead. out later on. I thought Morris Chestnut was dead in real life. The day I watched, I kid you not, I watched Boys in the Hood for the first time on VHS, and that night he was on like either Arsenio or the Tonight Show something. I think it was Arsenio, and I was like, hold on, what? What? He he died though. How old were you? Don't worry about that, man. 27. I think we need to address yeah. Kev's lack of black cinema and, and culture. I have seen, I bet I bet you I've seen more oh, black wait, wait, wait. movies than anybody on this panel. First I bet you I didn't think anybody died. All, you're a liar. That's number one. Number I two. bet you, I yeah. bet you to hear. He I bet you I've seen more black movies than you. Yeah, shut I up. I kind of want to disagree. Kevin is from okay. New Mexico and he- I'm Not from New Mexico. He, I'm sorry, he's from, um, what part of Texas is that? El Paso. He's from El Paso. I'm from El Paso, not uh, El Paso. Paso. <laughs> and he's from Seattle. Nobody expects him to know black cinema. Nobody. What black movies have I not seen to hear? Which ones have you seen, Kevin? Everything. Really? Yeah, and I'll tell you. Ask me, and I'll tell you straight up. Okay. Have you seen straight Paid up. in Full? Have you seen Paid in Full? Um, 
Ty, don't disrespect me. I'm Everybody just, just, eats B. You could allow I promise you, anybody who ever looked at me crazy, owe me money, they dead B. Dead they presidents. Dead Get into it. Yes, okay. dead presidents. Lawrence, uh, not Lawrence, Lorenz Tate. Mm -hmm. uh, Vietnam, they had the praise dance makeup on. Yeah, of course I've seen guest presidents. Praise okay, dance. Shatas. Have you seen Shatas? Yes, I've seen Shatas. You seen Belly? And I've seen yeah. Belly, which all the blacks love the opening scene of Belly. Nobody goes up for the end when they ran out of money. They're like, all right, man, he went to Africa. Hush. We don't know. <laughs> but that opening scene when they walk through the club and <sighs> yeah, I was all good there. Okay, go. The woods. Come Ooh. on, to hear these are the ones everybody's seen these except Keisha. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, I saw the wood. Have you and ever seen Training Day? Vampire in Brooklyn. Training Day? <laughs> training Yo, Day. Keisha, I'm not asking you any questions. I watched it yesterday. It's not, not even on my list to watch. There's a sketch coming out Keisha, tomorrow. That's not black cinema. There, there's a black lead and a white lead. You can't call it. That's that still black, black cinema, though. Nah, yeah, if white it. man can't jump, it's a black I cinema. I don't think they call it. That's yeah, not called white black man cinema. Can't Anytime it's two black leads, it's automatically labeled as urban. Anytime. We're talking yeah, about but, urban black cinema. Oh, oh we I still like have our classes. Can't jump I got one. one. But they was all in a project. Is it, though? Like, you say what? I got one. I was I saying, one. sometimes, I, somehow I feel like White Men Can't Jump is a black movie, but Training Day isn't. But I guess you're right to hear. I'm going to oh. agree with the point. But yeah. I've seen both. Yes, Ty. Comedian Ty Davis. Have you have you seen Fresh? Yes. No. No. I haven't seen Fresh. Fresh is newer, though. You talking about... Which no, one no. He's talking about that one, the one about no. a skateboarder or something like that. No, this is Fresh, where the little boy was like, he was kind of like a drug mule. Samuel L. Jackson was his father. Uh, I've heard dude. of Fresh. People try to put me on it in like 2013. I turned it on uh, and I just was like, ah. Why that movie right is there. so good? You're not I down for the people. people. Yeah. What about South I Central? I did for you the came, people. You, I, come you on, see South Central? Ty, yes. Oh, and don't God. be a menace. And don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. And all the hood classic, Boys in the Hood, Higher Learning, and the East Coast version, uh, New Jack City. Uh, Minister Society. Juice, Minister Society, all of them. I don't want to see some of those. I accept well, that Fresh I Fresh was good, though. What you don't want to see, Pat? Um, Say those again. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Higher Learning. Oh, man, I love Higher Learning. I might watch Shatas. Never seen that. Shatas. That was good. Um, what about um, Moonlight? Would that be considered? That'd be considered black cinema. Uh, yeah, but that's like, we, we talk about black cinema, really, they all talk about things that were released in the 80s or 90s. Yeah, we're talking about, 90s, talking about like, like 80s, okay. 90s. Yeah, so I did see Moonlight like, though. You know, it was great. Know, training Day, it was like, first of all, that's out of the rim of movies that we're talking about. That's number one. Number two, Keisha, you were not okay. doing nothing. You could have watched okay. that movie though. Go ahead, Ty. Eve's by you. Yes, that movie was freaking weird and so was Beloved. Was Very it Journey? Weird. Journey, Journey, uh, Smollett in, uh -huh. in that. She was a kid yeah. actress in that. And you yeah. got served, which doesn't get the respect it deserves. I've seen you that got served like cinema. seventy-eight times. But there's a white like, team. Um, They're still in our moves. <laughs> What's it called? Should have got the respect. <laughs> Drumline too should have got more respect too. I yeah. think Drumline gets proper respect. <laughs> Drumline convinced okay. me to go to HBCU. I was gonna go anyway, but Drumline convinced me to go to HBCU. <laughs> No, I, it did not. It when did Drumline come out? Dope. Drumline came out like I think 2003, 2002, or something like that. When did you, well, when did about, you start college? 2002? I started in 2004. I started 2002. No, I started, I'm sorry, I started in 2003. I took a year. Did you off. take some year, a year off after high school? I couldn't get, I, I wasn't planning on going to college because I, that was when I found out the kid wasn't mine. So I wasn't planning on going to college. I was just going to be a dad. And then I found out he wasn't my son. And I tried to apply to colleges and get some financial aid. They was like, nigga, nope. Why they didn't give it to you? I thought you were a poor black. But I, I applied in like June. All all the funding was oh. in June. Why did you feel like you couldn't do nothing else but be a dad? <laughs> I was going to go to a trade school or something. I was, was going to go to like. I was going to be a dad. I was going to go to a It was over for him. <laughs> I was, was going to go to a trade school. Just, you know what I'm saying? Going to accept his life as a trade. plumber. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> that was like, better I than what I was saying. Pat, I was, Pat, let me, 
Pat, listen I, to what I, I was going to say. He was going to go to school and trade lunches. <laughs> this is a trade school. No, no, we learn trades. Oh, I just, I got these Lunchables. I thought, oh, okay, this is something else. He shows up with a, a, a tray. Like, I thought this was trade school. No, where's the, where's the buffet? <laughs> I thought well, we were supposed to do all this spices. meatball sub then. I, I have a meatball sub that I was trying to trade up. <laughs> What's the movie, bad. Ty? It's crazy that people be like, Pat, don't protect black women, and he is a black woman. <laughs> Come on. I'm just wearing a pink shirt. <laughs> Go ahead, Crush Ty. Groove. What about Crush Groove? Is that that dance about, movie? Music Groove. No, that's Breaking. I've seen Breaking. Crush Groove was in the 70s, wasn't it? Isn't that a still, music group? It's, it's still old black cinema. No, I, have a, I have a feeling. I, I don't think you should have to see movies that predate when you were born. Oh, no, no, no. If I had to watch Color Purple, then yes, you should. Well, that's a rite of passage, Keisha. That's a different movie, Keisha. Oh, that's a the hospital when y'all were born. Why? Why was y'all watching that? I don't know why I watched the Color Purple. You should nobody should have watched it more than once, but we watched it a lot. Yeah, who runs that back? Be sure the color purple came out in 85. You were born. I was three. Do you think at three years old I'm about to see what <laughs> you, you do right by me? And she just doing to her stuff that I was hunching on a 10-year-old. That was not appropriate. <laughs> that is she early for the color purple. You just got here. <laughs> by the way, slavery. <laughs> it's like damn. <laughs> I'm trying to walk first. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, man, it is what it is. I don't know black cinema. Right. So I, 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 re I really feel like it's me, Ty, Kev. No, it's no here, you ain't seen nothing I ain't seen. First of all, I said no specific order. You just jumped out the window. Me, Ty, Kevin. You said you first, and that means you were thinking you were first. Kevin, Ty, me, in no specific order, but me first. <laughs> Uh, and then Keisha, and then Pat. I'm Hold on, we're gonna do this right now. We're gonna do this right now. Keisha's only I'm better party. than me because of the show. Hey, hey, it was matter why. That. Now I was talking about just in terms of what movies people have seen. That's what I'm saying. She just, she just got ahead of me because she had to watch a whole bunch of them recently. Hey, hey you were worse than me before that. In, I wasn't putting in this work in a gym, Pat. It doesn't matter when, or why. Just you know. sat in front of a, a, a okay TV for an hour and a half. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna do this article. Right, three days. <laughs> oh. Keisha, you seen Baps? I have seen Baps. Okay, what's the stand for, Keisha? I don't know if I believe it. Yeah, you should. But I, yeah, I mean, I forgot it was a long time ago, but I saw it. Oh, she ain't seen had it. gold teeth and they had scope ponytails and a lot of people. Okay, above the rim. I think I saw that. I didn't Are see. Okay, so time? I haven't actually seen above the rim, but I've seen bits and pieces. Like I got an idea. Hold on, Ty. Ty, back up. Back up. Ty, are you looking at a list? Um, I'm hey, trying Kev. to Google. Hey, hey, Kev. Hey, Kev. That no, was, no, no. We're going to settle this right now, Keisha. Keisha I... in here, don't lie either. No, Keisha. We, gonna, we know you're out. I got to start with y'all NDAs. Okay, I'm here we go. I'm looking at popular black movies from the 90s. So what's your list, Kev? No, that's fine. I just want to make sure you had a list. I got another list, and I'll say the ones. But we need to all answer yay or nay. OK. OK, go. And don't lie to you. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. We have other stuff to do. No, we ain't got nothing to do. camera dropping Sausage versus bacon. No, no, no. We finished. Waffles versus French toast. No. Waffles versus French toast. Nah, man. We're going to send it back. Turn it back on, Keisha. We can see you back here. Look at that picture of you not watching Black I'm about to see the look of embarrassment on my face. She was protecting her. Keisha, we already know about you. This is really more about Patrick and Ty. Why? But then let's just only ask Patrick. Real quick. Here, real don't quick. you have an advertisement for Blue Chew? <laughs> 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 Does Tahir think he's seen more black movies than me? Here we go. Here we go. You ready? Real quick. Uh, Friday. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah. Minister Society. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Set it off. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Love and Basketball. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Who said no? Who said no? Pat? Justice. No. no, Pat said he didn't. He didn't like that movie. He said that before. Okay, I right, go ahead. Poetic justice. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Color purple. Yes. 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 Soul food. Yes. 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 That was the one with the fire album, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Boys in the hood. Yes. 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 Lean on me. Yes. 
Yes, Chef. Fat? You used to call me crazy, bro. Now you're oh, going to get that man. Keisha, you, know, you saw me? He don't me? believe in you because you don't take care of your responsibility. I know, I know the guy who was based off of died recently, right? He did. Yeah. He did. Okay, New Black, Jack Black City. Facts. Yes. 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 Juice. Recently, recently though. Yes. 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 What's love got to do with it? Yes. Yes. Who's that? Yes. Who, who's in That's that? Tina Turner. Angela Bassett and Tina Turner. Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, I've seen that. Okay. I've okay. That's his the best man. Yes. Yes. Wait, you said what? What would you say? The best man. Yes. Yes. Bad. I don't think so. No. Yes. Bad boys. Yes. 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 You're just throwing two. Everybody saw two as well. Yeah. I was about to say yeah. two should count. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. House party. Yes. Yes. Yeah, all, the whole, do we have to watch all of them though? Because I watched like I one and two. Gotta, I think yeah. I'll give you House Party one and two and Class Act. Class Act, yep. yep. Nope. I, see, I haven't them. seen Class. I didn't see Class Act. Oh, you got to see Class Act. Class Act. Like, he's Lazy. just saying a whole lot of yeses, cuz, and I don't, I don't think she's telling the truth. I know my friend came over and made me watch House Party. I only seen one now. I can get okay. Made like, you? Yes. Okay. Life. Yes. 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 Wood. Yes. 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 Malcolm X. Yes. 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 Coach Carter. Yes. 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 I have seen Coach Carter. Coming to America. Yes. yes. Okay, I'm doing pretty good. Okay. Ray. Yes. 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 W I wouldn't even count that, but oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at the piano playing punk that ain't watched Ray. <laughs> hey, how did you punk? <laughs> this you this one piano makes no sense. Punk. This how one makes no just, sense. You literally play um. Uh, the the jazz by monk all the time i really have a hard time getting into longer movies once somebody says it's like two and a half plus it, i i i i get scared <laughs> i have to do that one. i have to do that one you I'm gotta do that ray pat it's a I'm, I'm, fantastic I'm film fantastic movie uh waiting to exhale yes yes, yes. remember the titans yes. yes one of my favorites yes is it really keisha Remember the Titans and Billy, it's my favorite movie. Okay, Baby Boy. Yes. 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 Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Yes. yes. Yep. Patrick. I don't like rom-coms. I just don't like them. I, it, it doesn't matter really? if they're black or white. I just, I don't, I don't really want to watch them. Okay. Sister Act 2. Yes. Yes. Did yes. we have to watch the first one? I don't remember the first nah, one. Nah, the first okay. one. That franchise doesn't exist until, until she's with the black kid. And okay. I don't really mind the first one, but the second one, that's one of the few good, sequels good, that is better than the first movie. That's, that's a good establishing movie, though, when she was mm -hmm. turning from a life of crime and turning tricks and stuff. And um, mm -hmm. That's good. It's good. But Sister Act 2 is so much better okay. as a movie. Agreed. And Sister Act 1 is not quotable. Sister Act 2 got all the quotable. C1 to C2? No, not at all. Not you will story. understand more about Whoopi Goldberg if you see one, but they yeah. set it up to where, and actually one made way more money, by the way. Mm. How? Because Whoopi Goldberg was like, I think at that time, Tony, Tony can correct me if I'm wrong. She was like the highest paid actress at the time she made Sister Act 1. She was getting it. She got cashed out. Okay, Players Club. Yes. 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 Five Heartbeats. Yes. 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 Paid in full, we already talked about, but I didn't hear Pat. Okay. Eve's Bayou. Yes. Nope. I don't even hey. know what that's about. Yeah, that one's. Oh, I, wait. I what, what, Keisha? I mean, ish. Like, ish. <laughs> so you saw a clip on YouTube? I see. <laughs> <laughs> Love Jones. Yes. 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 I, I bought that on DVD. Pat, you are losing to Keisha. <laughs> I told you. I did black, not call black, it. Black. You should have just watched all these, hey, though. Hey, hey, He didn't say when. Matter. Say when. The Temptations. Yes. yes. Boomerang. Yes. 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 You didn't see Temptations, Pat? No, I, I said did. yes to Temptations. Oh. I, 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 I feel like it's kind of like, you know, they're singing, they got pump waves. What's, what's the <laughs> we might as well do five heartbeats while we're talking about it. Yes. 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 Five heartbeats. But not Jackson heartbeats. 5, American <laughs> Dream. Yes. yes. What yes. is that? Jackson Five know. American Dream. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, it's a mini series. Long ass time ago. Purple Rain. Yes. yes. Overrated. Yeah. Very much so. Uh, Above the Rim. Yes. yes. So. I know they was playing basketball. 
Huh? <laughs> yeah. What else? Do, do the right women. thing. Yes. yes. What'd yes. you say? Do the right thing. Yeah. Brown That's sugar. Yes. 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 Harlem Nights, we just talked about. Yes. Brown sugar. That's uh brown sugar is Tay Diggs and Sanai Lathan Pat. That sounds like a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's not like a lot of stuff. It's two characters. What? I, mean, it, it just, I, I picture a lot of movies. I am killing Pat right now. I just want the You movie. are. But like three. The Wiz. Yes. yes. Unfortunately. Yes. Higher learning. Pat said no. Yes. Yes. Keisha, you ain't seen it either. Ha. Huh. I was in school. I, I was. Trying to get my learning. You were not in school in 1990. Well, you were in <laughs> elementary school. To hear you saw higher learning? I haven't seen it. Yes. Uh, how Stella got her groove back. Wait, I, yes. don't know, I don't know. I mean, if we're doing popular 90s movies, maybe, but no. I don't know if higher learning should even count because Michelle Pfeiffer was the lead. That's not a. No, that's not gang. Not that's, uh, no, that's, no. that's not higher learning. Right. That's uh, dangerous, dangerous, mind. Mind. dangerous mind. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I see both, though. But yes. That is. Uh, um, I finally got her groove back. Yes. No, but I feel like I need to watch it because I'm like. I you about to be Stella age? You about to? This yeah, about to be you? I, I know. I need oh wait, to. you said no to that? No, I don't know. Boom, catching up. Look at that. Dead presidents. Are you really? Yes. Kidding? Glory. Yes. With Denzel. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a classic black film? Yeah, 1989. Yes. Denzel, Morgan Freeman, Matthew yeah. Broderick, I think was third. That's what made the single tear popular. That is what made the single tear popular. He's getting that whoop. Denzel was killing it in that role, by the way, his first Oscar. The Brothers. Yes. Yes. The you, Brothers you, or Four Brothers? The, the brother. brother. Well, I saw I've seen He that. should turn it back on. <laughs> what is that? The Brothers is, uh, it's, uh, Bill Bellamy, uh, Morris Chestnut, Morris Chestnut, Shamar Moore. Also yeah, sounds all, like a- she know all the fine niggas from the nineties. <laughs> uh, Cooley High. Yes. Yeah, I had to see that. Oh yes. Uh, Jason oh, Keisha, lyric. Keisha, what'd you say? Yes. Oh no, Cooley High. Well then, <laughs> it's what about New Jersey Drive and Sunset Park? Sunset Park is one of my favorite sports movies because it is Park. with them losing. <laughs> the dude goes to shoot a three. They're they're the poor black kids. He goes to shoot a three, and the dude blocks it out of bounds. He, he yeah. like throws so, it. Y'all talking about me? Yeah, I don't care about black people. How you enjoy watching boys lose? I, didn't I just that. didn't. Ex- every sports movie they usually three, two, one. You win. It was like three, two, one. Boom! It's like oh my god, the movie's over. They just lost. <laughs> It looks like me to here and Kev are tied. Movie, like we've way. seen, we've seen everything. I've seen I'm like everything. Right behind y'all. Okay, <laughs> five more, and we'll start to hear. Uh, <laughs> Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah. Yes. I don't really consider that a a black film, but it it oh, is. Keisha, it's we're gonna count film. it because it's Eddie. And it I is Eddie. All the Beverly Hills. Well, no, because if we murder. can't count Training Day, then we can't count Eddie. How many black people was in that movie? How many black we people count? Beverly Hills. Hills. That don't sound like a lot of black people. <laughs> okay, let's count Training Day. Everybody here seen it. Let's count Training yeah, Day. Sorry. Okay, Rosewood. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was the first movie I saw. Uh, Big Rain's in his big ass. I don't know <laughs> what that is. That coffin bust up off the. Rosewood is a. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, that's a big Pat, nigga. I don't, Pat, don't, don't. Uh, watching Rosewood just going to piss you off. Just stay what? away. Yeah, it's don't. Just black people, trauma, anger, fire. I don't be watching stuff like that. I shouldn't be penalized. That's what I'm saying. Don't. I'm telling you not to watch it. Uh, okay. Major Pain. Yes. Uh, that first scene. Love it. Ruined my I soul. always ask my daughter that. She's like, oh, my shoulder hurt. I'm like, you want me to show you a trick to take that? <laughs> <mind?" laughs> Every time she's like, "No, you just gonna try to break my finger." I hate that scene so much. Uh, uh Cricklin. Yes. Okay. He got game. Yes. Yes, I saw he got game. <laughs> what is the difference He's between so that and Love and Basketball? Those are two different movies. Yes. He got game is a, <laughs> a very, very different movie, movie than Love. Is that the one where Denzel with the afro? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ray Allen. 
I thought it was a wrong. I want that jersey actually. Ray That's Allen is dreadful in that he movie. Terrible, God. but Ray God. Allen is one of the greatest shooters of all time. So you could put He's what? Okay, animated Bebe's Kids. Yes, yeah. I've seen a little bit of that. I've seen like I know the um like previews like when they used to come on MTV. The previews that don't count. <laughs> It's not a trailer to that. No. Oh, the opening theme. Uh, that's all. They're they're getting in. Okay, don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. Of yes. course. Yeah. All right, and that's a perfect place for us Wait. to dive right into the first. I oh, mean, you're a perfect place. I think I think I think what this shows us is that Pat. Does not protect black women, nor does he like black women. So, but wait, wait, I caught up. Nope. nope. Keisha, wait, what did no. you say on that last one? What was the last one we said? Because you didn't say nothing. Uh, the I last one we did was uh, you know, the, the, don't be a menace to South Central. I yeah. saw that. That was with Dashiki. Okay, just making it was. sure. I think that I, was I think Regina. I, uh, Regina Hall was was in there, wasn't she? I think I caught up though. I don't know, actually. Wasn't she the girl with Sean Wayne's? That was. I don't. The yeah. girl, the girl that was that cheeky. Yes. No. Yeah. No. What? That wasn't her. I don't know if she was played. She, a was she in that movie? I don't know if that was her. I can't remember her face. You oh, you know what she did? Yeah, scary you movie. You think it's scary movie? Yeah, yeah. scary movie. Like I know she does. That popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> Cindy, this is bones. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump right into this first topic right after this. Y'all know I do a lot. I got game shows, I got podcasts, and I'm selling merch. And I am so thankful for a company like ShipStation. And if you sell stuff online, you definitely are in the right business. More people are shopping online than ever before. And that means a lot of orders coming in. And a lot of artists, you'll need to ship out fast. That's why online sellers like you need ShipStation. No matter what and how much you're selling, ShipStation makes it super easy to manage and ship all of your orders from all of your sales channels faster, cheaper, and more efficiently. All right, you get to import sale orders from any sales channel, ship with any carrier, access discounted shipping rates, and automate just about any shipping task. You spend a lot less time on shipping and a lot more time on growing your business. And that's what we all really want. And again, it does not matter what you're selling or where you're selling. Amazon, Etsy, your own website, ShipStation funnels all your orders into one simple interface that you can manage from anywhere, even your cell phone. You'll get access to amazing discounts with major carriers, including UPS, FedEx, USPS, and you can easily compare carriers and choose the best solution every time. With ShipStation, small businesses can now access the same rates, usually reserved for Fortune 500 companies without the contracts or commitments. And it's no wonder ShipStation has more five-star reviews than any other shipping software. So if you guys are ready to take advantage of this and ship more in less time, just use our offer code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, and get a 60-day free trial. That's right. That's two months of free, no hassle, stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D. That's ShipStation.com. Enter in the promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, and make ship happen. First topic of the day, we have $10 million versus 10 extra years of life. That's a whole decade of your life. That's a lot. I feel like I would definitely want to live 10 more years. But is that assuming, like, you're going to live long? That's, I mean, that's just like, that's just a continue, bro. You, you just get it. Like, if you happen to be in a freak accident, you don't know when it's going to happen. You could be 30 39, like, oh, man, next year I'll take out my car blows up. Somehow it's <laughs> thrown from the they don't. They can't explain how you're thrown from it's Like a mafia car. hit? <laughs> <laughs> they can't explain how you're Here, thrown do from the, the uh, Do the sound effect one more time. <laughs> 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 it's, like a, it's like a little pussy bomb. <laughs> it's like a little baby bomb. <laughs> that was just a little poop. That didn't even really destroy the block. I love the dedication to here. The fact that you were like, I'm not just going to tell this story. Y'all got to have a sound effect. <laughs> over here, it, over here it sounded very really loud. And over here, it rattled the windows when I did it. Uh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah, I, I would definitely take the, the, the years. I feel like 10 million isn't that much. So wait, time out. Let me ask, let me, let me make this up. Oh, my God. do you? She's not here. She's here. 
if you don't have the money, are you keeping your current life or is it a poor life? You keeping your current life. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, well, I already got to. Ten extra years. Yeah, I feel like the ten extra years and in that time, like I could make ten million. Uh, I feel like with right. ten million, maybe I could. By this point, I could probably buy some extra years of life. They doing all types of stuff these days. Yeah, I, I if years. I was poor, I would rather be alive. Once you're dead, that's it, man. I don't want to be dead. I be thinking about that sometimes. I be like, that is so whack. <laughs> <laughs> um, like bro people gonna be having game nights and barbecues you just gonna be dead they gonna be laughing show. at your funeral about funny stuff you did and you can't even join in on the laughter and that's the thing. if i get to see my funeral like i always i want to be able to see my funeral that was like, the one that was one of the funny things about coming to america that uh hilarious uh, the dad had a funeral like, now nah, y'all finna show me what this is gonna be it better be lit i felt that like if you know your time is coming yeah mm -hmm. Or even just whenever, I feel like you should be able to see. I want to see who showed up, who didn't. Oh yeah, I want to. Who I'm did it? <laughs> I I mean, be cool. Keisha, 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 the petty type. She will hunt somebody if they don't show up to her funeral. Hunt them. Hunt them. Hunt. With a hunting rifle. Hunt. Hunt, hunt or hunt. Hunt. Or hunt. hunt. She no, hunt, hunt with hunt. a hunt with a hunting rifle. No, she will hunt on them. He meant put on Elmer Fudd's outfit. And hunt wascally wabbits. <laughs> Here, man. Oh, God. You should have yeah. learned a different language because English is already a hard language. <laughs> and you got the nerve to be having words that sound alike and stuff. And the way your tongue be, you know, I didn't have the nerve stuff. to do that. I didn't make English. I didn't make haunt sound like haunt. They, those words <laughs> are very different. You haunt. are just doing that. <laughs> haunt. Hunt. That's what I said. Haunt. haunt. Hunt. You said hunt. Yeah, St. Louis. I wonder if that's a good question, though. Would that that impediment work across languages? Like, is, if you learn Spanish, could you be like really perfect at speaking, <laughs> and then switch over to English, and then be like, "Wow, good job." <laughs> 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 I don't, I don't know that much in French, though. In French, I'm almost like fluid. You're, you know you're French? Almost fluid. You're yeah, almost fluid. fluid? I You're almost fluent in French. You don't fluent. I'm almost like fluent. sexually or like uh... You're fluent in French fries. French toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost I'm almost fluid. I'm so close. <laughs> I can, I can, I can, I can understand 85% of what people say like when I'm having a conversation. You are lying. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna pull up what's that? Google Translate. I'm gonna pull up something in French. Play it. And you got to translate it to what I said. Okay, to Light hear, what did I just say? Puis je de l'eau. You made that up, girl. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real phrase. Puis, can you puis say je anything? In de you talking to me? Yeah, can you say anything <laughs> in French? Yeah, you don't even want almost fluent in French out here. And to hear, I'm doing a very easy, easy uh, phrase. Okay, right? Not even nothing hard. Okay, ready? Oh, no, I, you should at least know this first word. Okay. To pull oh, up wait, let me let me text Meg back real quick. Omelette du fromage. Nah, AKA, don't, you're not texting Meg. You're trying to pull up Google Translate so you can listen yeah. to what I said. How? How? How would I even do that? Because you can have it to where somebody talks and it translates it. I used it when I was in Japan. Well, I wouldn't do that. I'm not putting forth that much effort. Okay, you ready? Like did you finish texting Meg back? Lying. What did you order? Philly cheesesteak? Why okay. is he muted? Have have order have order French fries. <laughs> All right, here's the here's the sentence. Okay, ready? Go. Bonjour, comment vas-tu aujourd'hui? I'll play it again for you. Bonjour, comment vas-tu aujourd'hui? Hold on, my phone couldn't detect it. <laughs> <laughs> is it hello? How, how are you how doing are you today? Yes. Oh, is that right? Hello, yes, hello, Patrick. That is literally hello. How are you how today? Are you doing? No, it's hello, how are you today? You could have got that with doggone context clue. You should have got bonjour. Everybody knows at least how I to say hi. I didn't hear bonjour. I, I, I couldn't hear ah. that. Neither time? You're just loud. No, it's That's hello. Bonjour, 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 bonjour. That's what give it's Give him loud. another one. Give, give him another one. There's other sentences. Puis je aller aux toilettes. Where's your bathroom? I know what that is. Cologne. You want to put on some cologne? No. Where's your bathroom? Your, your toilet? Your bathroom? Your... Yeah, Pat. Okay. You want some toilet water to put on. Okay, okay Pat, I mean, here to here is another sentence. Very simple. <laughs> Do it again. I could, something. 
Hello, fatty. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's what time is it? Oh my god. <laughs> what say it again? Why are we even what, it's anything? what time is it? We know that he's not. We know he don't speak no, he don't speak English. We okay, to so your last not. one. <laughs> it's fun to see last him one. <laughs> Today? Yes. He has to type with two fingers. <laughs> All right, ready to hear? A lot of piece of grease on the face of his phone. Here it goes. Here it goes. My daughter is telling me. <laughs> what, what are you talking about me? <laughs> no. So My daughter is telling me. You type something else in on that one. You no, I didn't. No, you're talking I mean, about me on okay, that one. Okay, that was just English. That was just in a French accent. I'm going to put it in an English accent. That was English? That was taller than me. <laughs> what is happening today? <laughs> We're all over the place. Right. Special episode. <laughs> this is a rogue episode. <laughs> We're off the rails. <laughs> Never mind. I don't. I don't know how to do it. She was right? saying my daughter is taller than me in a French accent, but you didn't catch it. But Keisha Hilarious. did. It. Keisha did. And I, I heard when Keisha said it. I, I figured that's what you said. I was going to mute you as soon as you played it. <laughs> Wait, how did Keisha figure it out? I don't know. She said my daughter is taller than me. Patrick, I'm insulted a little bit. <laughs> you know French? You know, Keisha. Keisha's a built to a college with bare bare hands. Did you try? And a computer. You okay? Did, 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 you okay? <laughs> I, was, I was channeling Boo Capone. He says a computer <laughs> engineer, and all she do with her life is work out and travel. <laughs> did you do French? You know French? No, I don't know French. I think I took it in sixth grade. I don't know. Keisha, are you rusty at coding now? Or are you you still got? Is this something that you like can get rusty at? Yeah, because it's it's constantly changing. So. Oh I'll really? Yeah. So was your MySpace page super lit? <laughs> my, my Black Planet was popping. Oh, I used to do everybody's Black Planet page. I didn't really get off into MySpace that much. Like I got on I MySpace a Black Planet. at the tail end, and it was like, ah, it's a little bit. What was Black Planet like? You really aren't. Was it that? really black? Yeah. Well, I think Black really Planet black. was before Pat's time when it was at its yeah. apex. MySpace was the first thing for us. Um, imagine, oh, yeah. imagine hmm? uh, oh, Atlantic it? Station. 31. Like a whole world of Atlantic Station from Atlanta, like that's the whole world. Like that's what Black Planet was like. Yeah, it, it was like MySpace, but all Black people. But that's I mean, it was supposed to be, but then of course other people got on it. You know, we can't never have nothing. Oh, you you didn't have to prove it before you made it. <laughs> <laughs> prove it. There was white people <laughs> like on Black Planet. Smartphones, so like niggas yeah. would get home from class to sit at a computer in their in their dorm room and get on Black Planet. Like it was the a whole first. The first person on there that uh that wasn't black was Chad Hanks. And he got in there. <laughs> he was, yo, shut. Yo, him <laughs> between <laughs> him and Colin to here, they're so different. Yeah. Oh, Colin is that the other brother? Chilling. Yeah, Colin Hanks be he acts and he chills. Yeah. Chet is like What's it boy? <laughs> in the comedy, they go up in <laughs> what are you was doing weird, this for? That was a weird month. <laughs> when he announced his uh, parents having COVID at the beginning of quarantine, yeah, I know you guys heard it's true. My mom and dad have COVID. They're doing well. I was like, they already told us on their social media. Why are you just the cosign? <laughs> like, just, just in case you guys forgot, I am Tom Hanks' son. <laughs> That's basically what he was saying. Oh, I was like, Oof. I, I was so <laughs> He said yeah. it's gonna be a white boy summer this summer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Let's go ahead and put it to a vote. Yeah, man. More white boy. I'm gonna do well. I'm gonna do the 10 million um, versus the 10 years because if you know, I can't make like I don't know if I'm gonna make the 10 million in the 10 years. But if I got the 10 million, it's right there. It's like you can get wasted money back. You can't get wasted time back. So what if I just live 10 years and I'm just regular poor like now? That's dumb. So, oh, so you're, you're choosing to go early with the money? I mean, that's assuming I go early. What if I get to 10 million and I live for nine years? That's a good that's point. Totally I feel like I'm gonna live a very long time. Give me my, my 10 million. Let's, what do you want to do, Ty? Let's ball out. 
He's you sixty now. You look. Uh, I could see Keisha living to a hot ninety eight. And that's gonna be boring as fuck. I don't know. No, it's not. My life's gonna be lit. Keisha will probably have visited every friends. Keisha will probably have visited every country by the time she's ninety eight. Keisha be traveling. She's one of the few people who she got me by a mile. I was looking through her Instagram. We were doing explain this. I was like, dang, you've been everywhere. Where and haven't you been? In the, in the in the globe like this. There's a beach, there's a beach in a tropical island. Keisha got a picture just like at the elbow. She trying to she trying to distance herself as far away from Detroit as possible. But like, we still, <laughs> still know you can go wherever you want. That's to. Hilarious. You know, no, like, you know what? You're still from Detroit. No, I have refugees <laughs> everywhere I go. I think I told y'all the story when I was in uh, Johannesburg, and the dude was like, I, "We wanted to go to this day oh, party." Yeah. I was like, "No, three. Yeah. He was like, "Oh no, you don't want to go there." We like, "Yeah." Well, he's like, "You from the states, right?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, eh, "It's like, how do you say like the Detroit of Johannesburg?" I was like, "Nigga, we from Detroit. We going." Where, like, you're the example city. <laughs> you're the example. Like, I'm so so sorry. Other, it was like, no, it's all good. We really want to go. And other. She countries. didn't even take that as an insult. She was like, "Oh." I was like, "We in here." <laughs> yeah. I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We are prepared. We know how it's going to go down. I'm going to check that out all hilarious. the exits before I get in there. It's like the Detroit of out here. <laughs> he was like, oh, I am so sorry. She was like, for what? He was like, nothing. <laughs> he was like, no, you good. Like, we in there. Yes. Let's put I never it had a whole goal. Goal. Let's okay, put it through a vote. 10 no, million. Trying to keep us on time. Uh, you know, I'm going to take the 10 million this time. 10 million. Ty says she's taking the 10 million. Pat? Ten years. Ten years, Kev? Lunch with Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> this is Clubhouse. <laughs> uh, I, I'll take the I'll take the ten years, man. I want to see my grandkids. I want to be pop pop. Yeah, see, I well, I don't know. I don't have. Let me tell you I'll something. Take I'll take ten. I don't know. I, I don't know. Ten years. I'm saying in twenty in twenty thirty years, we are all going to be thoroughly annoyed. These COVID kids will have grown up. Oh, we are going kids. to be annoyed with them. That's pretty crazy. I forgot about that. Yeah. COVID kids is hilarious. <laughs> These I'm COVID kids you, are going to grow COVID up. COVID kids. All right. Well, it looks like the time has it. 10 years has it. We're going to jump right into this next topic right after this. Come on, people. Now, you know we deserve to know what we're putting in our bodies, right? Absolutely you do, especially when it comes to something that we take every day. Ritual's clean, vegan-friendly multivitamin is formulated with high-quality nutrients in bioavailable forms that your body can actually use, all right? Now, I'm going to tell you what you won't find. Sugars, GMOs, major allergens, uh, synthetic fillers. You ain't going to find none of that in Ritual. Only the stuff that your body needs. Plus, the fresh taste and delayed release capsule design makes taking your vitamins easy. And I say easy because I've taken multivitamins before, and I've taken the ones that you get that burp afterwards, and you be like, oh, about an hour after, you be like, that, that was me? That came out of my mouth. That's what people are smelling. I don't want that. I don't want that. Nobody else wants that either. That's why I love Ritual. I, I get that mint taste, and you, you taste as soon as you, you, soon as you swallow it. Right? You, you know exactly what you're dealing with, and I absolutely love that about Ritual. First of all, a multivitamin should contain key nutrients and forms that your body can actually use, okay? It should help fill the gaps in the diet. No shady extra, and that's what Ritual does. Ritual's delayed release capsule design delivers high-quality nutrients, including vitamin D3, and just two daily pills, all right? You always know what nutrients you're taking and where they come from thanks to Ritual's one-of-a-kind visible supply chain. This is this is important. And I don't like putting stuff in my body I can't I can't pronounce. I, I I don't know what this six syllable word, this eight syllable word is, and I don't know if I want to put that in my body. Ritual is designed with life stages in mind because they're available in women, men, and teens. Ritual multivitamins are scientifically developed to help support different stages in life and you should be doing this. Listen, we ain't we we, we got to be real with each other, all right? Some of us is getting older. All right? And even your teens, you need to make sure that they're going to be good. Out here in the streets, get them some of this ritual. Your multivitamins are delivered to your door every month with free shipping. Always. And you can start, snooze, or cancel your subscription anytime. And if you don't love ritual within your first month, they'll refund your first order. Okay? So if you're ready to get on this healthy track, you know what I'm saying? We're getting, we getting summertime fine out here. Get key nutrients with 
out the BS. Ritual is offering my listeners 10% off during your first three months. That's right, 10% off during your first three months. All you have to do is visit ritual.com slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D, to start your ritual today. Again, visit ritual.com slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D. Telling your boy sent you. What up? It's your boy to hear more, and I want to let you know, listen, we all shop online, okay? We've all seen their promo code field taunt us at the checkout. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Because Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart automatically. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, okay? They literally range from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. So imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites, okay? When you check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons you wait a few seconds as honey searches for coupons that it can find for that site and if honey finds a working coupon you watch the prices drop it's that easy people even before all the madness happened it was certain stores I hated going to either the lines were too long or I would end up spending a hundred dollars when I went in there for a pack of tank tops and some socks and y'all know exactly what I'm talking about you you only go in there for two or three things you come out with a whole shopping cart worth and it's like I, I can't keep doing this my budget is not gonna allow it but thanks to honey I don't have to do that any longer I literally go on on the site that I want to go shopping to hit apply coupons See the prices come down and I'm like, that's what I need in my life. Honey has found us over 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings. I know y'all want some of that savings. I know you're ready. So listen, if you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. And it's literally free and it installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you're doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. I'd never recommend something to you that I really do not use. And I'm telling y'all, you need to get on this Honey train, okay? So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash squad. That's joinhoney.com slash squad. S-Q-U-A-D-D. And tell me your boy sent you. Next topic we have: What's better, thin crust pizza or <laughs> to hear Bobby cut the shot? But he absolutely said thin crust pizza, and, and we need y'all to know that's why we're laughing. Him taking, his, taking a deep breath, just leave it in to hear, so they know. I not like. leave it in. Leave it in. No, it's so deep. No. No. <laughs> to hear as a kid was never invited to pizza parties. <laughs> <laughs> he was outside like, man, I want some pizza. <laughs> and friends. <laughs> okay, deep dish. Are we talking like traditional or like Chicago, Chicago deep dish? Chicago style. That's what I led with. Chicago style pizza. You know the oh, I was listening to pizza, pizza too much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my Chicago friends always say that they don't even eat Chicago style pizza unless people are in Chicago to visit and they want that. Mm -hmm. They mostly eat like regular, I don't know if it's thin crust, but regular crust from what I hear in the Chicago streets. Me personally, I given the choice a thin crust pizza from like New York at <laughs> two o'clock in the morning after a libation or three. I think I the, the Chicago, <laughs> the deep dish, it's a, it's a, it's a whole event. It's it a, is. it's a whole thing. You, eat and you can't before. walk and eat it. You can walk and eat a thin crust, thin crust. God dang it. Crust? Oof. Man, Kev, you messing up on words you did know. What happened? Thin, thin crust pizza? <laughs> a thin crust, a thin crust. Yeah, thin thin crust. crust. We it ruined ev almost every word in the sentence. Thin Take crust it pizza. <laughs> Take it out, here. Tony's not here to fix it in post, my boy. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the thin crust. It's just less carbs. Just less of course carbs. you will. Oh, okay, pizza. You oh. made great choices. But I feel like it's <laughs> Let me have a cauliflower crust pizza with kale <laughs> smoothie. Just hot. I feel like the deep dish also has a whole lot of sauce. It's like it's just a lot of like. It's so like it. you it's, need that extra so sauce when you're heating it up. When you reheat thin crust pizza, it does not reheat well because it's it's a slither. No. Of well, I eat all of mine. So a pizza I Hut. I don't reheat. I had some acts from California Pizza Pizza Kitchen. Dang, no! Everybody is dying. <laughs> California Pizza here? Kitchen. It's rubbing <laughs> off. It's like the it's like Corona. It's, 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 you saw the a Star Wars? What are you like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had some shrimp scampi wow. pizza from California Pizza Kitchen. Bougie. Yes, really good. Thin crust. 
Pat is next. Pat is next to mess up. Let's go, Pat. Um, my favorite pizza is actually the uh, Pizza Hut Thin Clust Pizza. <laughs> Pepperoni <laughs> pizza, actually. So uh, wait, you like Thin Clust Pizza, too? Thin Clust Pepperoni <laughs> Pizza, yes. I don't know how I feel about Thin out of, Clust Pepperoni Pizza. Out of all the pizza toppings, <laughs> I just go with the good old-fashioned uh, pepperoni. <laughs> I feel like Pizza Hut was good when I was young, and it is not fire now. Oh, this is trash. I bought. I got a little individual from Pizza Hut. It looked like the the pizza that comes with like a kid playset. The little girls like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked like that. that I was like, fire. this is not even. Did Those y'all put this up? Fire. I think I think that you get older and you you get like to experience different pizza. You become more in tune with that, like gourmet pizza, but I love a good greasy slice. But I think it's different though. Like I don't think they're using the same recipe. Well, so I don't like know. Like, red biscuits at Red Lobster, they are not the same. I said that too, Keisha. They do not, not slap the like they used to slap. The they cheddar biscuits. off on the cheese. They, it's not yeah. the same. Yeah. The last couple of times I went, I was like, bro, this ain't, you. that used to be enough to be like, just eat that and then leave. And the last couple of times- You don't go like, to Red Lobster for the seafood, you go for the biscuits. Like nah, they, they, they don't even have a lobster, it's langostino. I'm on to you. They really? Recipes with yeah, they got sued because they were using langostino, which is not lobster, and they were calling it lobster. Wow. That was wow. their whole thing. That was they, their whole That's thing. where they chose to be cheap? <laughs> lobster? <laughs> they were like, okay, we're gonna put the lobsters at the front of the restaurant, but when you order it, it's gonna be something else. They all like every time you go, you're like, is that the same lobster? I, I thought I picked that yesterday. It's like, no, I'm still here. <laughs> they just throw everything <laughs> <in the back. laughs> Still here, homie. <laughs> I don't know who they killing in the back? Ain't us. <laughs> Take it out of the front tank, put it in the back tank, and you leave it in the back of the <laughs> put it back. Like all I'm these lobsters are getting old. <laughs> they got gray hair. <laughs> why do they put the uh oh that's probably why. What? Say, why do they put the rubber bands on there? They ain't gonna clip them, but when they pick the lobster up, that's why they be they don't want to get clipped. Also, while we're on hypotheticals, I got a question for y'all. It's totally unrelated to anything we're talking about. How do computers know that credit card numbers are real and active when you put them in? Because if you do your credit card by like one number off, it'll recognize it immediately yeah. that it's not a real credit card. How? How does Probably it know already that? Already it as you're entering it. Huh? You don't know. Probably already running it. Are they as checking? Ah. It's just like like they, know, they know. Like, like go ahead, Todd. My because bad. there's a certain there's a certain sequence with the card numbers. Also, they can tell from the first four digits whether it's a Visa or a Mastercard. So like the computer algorithm. I know that. It. He said I know like, they recognize oh, that, but how do they know that that's a real card versus like a scam card? Wouldn't that you know be the I mean? same? Wouldn't that be the same logic the of a password? Digits. A password is the same way, right? Like they, they it's know. gotta be the what is it, twelve digits, sixteen digits, something 16. like that? No, just saying, if you're off per- by one number, like you enter your entire credit card number correct, but you accidentally put a three instead of a four, it'll know that. It's oh, not a I think it I may mean. it may be like checking it autom- as you're putting it in there. Mm. Uh, so that does and Keisha, you're the coder here. Does Visa send like here's all of our active credit cards to these payment processes? They have to, and they're like going through and. I'm not a merchant. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, not... You're a computer coder, Keisha. <laughs> they would not... have to for inventory, right? I'm not a, uh... I don't know. I don't know. You really, you Melissa really... just texted that they, they had a new card number at any time, though. You know what I mean? So they're not. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Every second they're sending it. I think that they're updated oh. all the time. How how do you you really don't know this? Are you serious right now? How they do this? Do what? Me? Yeah. I mean, it would be a violation of privacy for them to already have it, right? That's what I'm saying. Because Melissa just texted me, somebody got our car. And I was like, but she still has the car. Oh, just like getting your card. Uh, Cam said it's a giant database that's just accessed by the payment processors. So they do give it to them ahead of time. And if that number's not mm. active, then you can't pull from it. That makes sense. Uh, Inventory. Interesting. Yeah. The more you know. You hear you somebody up. Here. Did you mean somebody like uh hacked your card? Yeah, we just she just sent me a screenshot and they was they was going ham. They got two good charges before the bank figured it out. What did they do? What did what were they? I always I'm always interested, like where was the first thing this, this uh the first thing, first thing they got was Pegasus Pegasus A V dot US, which I don't know. They bought a Pegasus? What do you even find? <laughs> Damn, Kev got money. 
They got a uh, industry west and overstock.com. What's what was it called? Pegasus what? Pegasus AV.us. I don't know what they sell there. Industry West, I don't know what they sell there. And overstock.com. They got two out of the three. They didn't get the Pegasus, but they got overstock and wow. industry west. Whiteboard? They better not. They had better not have scammed us to get a whiteboard. That's just they they th this was a <laughs> someone who really was scamming you to get a business started. It's literally <laughs> I kid you not. I'll put I'll put it in the chat. It is literally a whiteboard store. And you can get is any like type a, of whiteboard. Is it like a smart whiteboard? No, it's they any just, type of whiteboard you want. They got they everyone. Got, I don't know. If it, they got a new whiteboard just so they could like put up all the protocols they stole. Like, all right, this will be <laughs> <laughs> to scam more. This is yeah. this is actually productive for them. Write it off on your taxes, kid. You'd be all right. You can do it. <laughs> And they got furniture um, for that meeting room, I guess. This this what they this what they. I wouldn't think. be that mad if they stole it. Yep. <laughs> really? Wow. Anti glare wow. glass it's, whiteboard. It's an anti glare, so you can have the shades open and the blinds up, and you can still get work done. They I'm proud of these guys. ADD. They just want to make them. Uh, they 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 they're, they're, wow. they're going to make it. Right. <laughs> this is an organized car. Very Why organized they make it, and then like later on they're like yeah, actually you know i started my business i had scammed somebody i bought a whiteboard Appreciate you, from Star. and then it's <laughs> like hey i'm your first investor <laughs> you know, Kim, not know, by that, choice that happened to me before and it was just gas station transactions and they got like some glory greens or a grocery store that was like glory <laughs> glory green <laughs> when i first moved to la too i got here like yo i need my money <laughs> Yeah, Lori Greens is a very specific thing. And they stole her uh her email address. Oh, like, who? who? Her email address, Keisha. Remember, yeah. they stole her email address. They got all my passwords and stuff. I don't know. Somebody hacked into my stuff and got all my information. And they was threatening, like, we're gonna release these videos if you watching porn if you don't pay us. And I'm like, what? I don't watch porn from my laptop. Who does that? Oh, they were making that up. What would a video well, be watching porn? Why would that even be weird? You're just like, I don't know. I, I think they were saying like I was, I guess I was doing something playing with myself or making a sex tape myself. I don't know, but oh, they well, um well. they actually oh. did have my password. Like they put it in the email and it was real ghetto with it. Like play with me if you want. <laughs> it was like the second email because I didn't respond to the first one. So it was like, play with me if you want. I'm like, wow. What? Play with me if you want is a, you know that's black people. It's me. <laughs> Play with me if you I want. Pay them in Bitcoin. It was just like, what is happening here? Where that's was this funny for? Yeah, this was. Um, matter of fact, it was the day I went to go do or the day before I was going to be working this hard. I went to here. And yeah, this when you lost your debit card a couple of weeks ago or a month ago? No, no, no. no. Last year, this was last year. Oh. Yeah. Matter of fact, y'all still didn't find my card at the studio. Nope. Play with us if you want. You'll never see that card again. Let me find out. <laughs> That's funny that the scammers got upset after like their time window of you replying and they're like, I'm gonna give her till tomorrow. <laughs> he, had to, he had to have seen it. <laughs> I was like, what? But it was actually kind of scary because everybody was like, whatever, you don't have no video of me, whatever. But and it was like, we're gonna release it every hour or something to like your contacts in your phone. <laughs> like, do you want your, your parents to see this, whatever? But- um, Everybody I know actually, know I jack off though. Huh? Everybody I know know I jack off. My mom know, like, it ain't gonna be like, I don't care. Yeah, but, but do, you, do you want the video out to here? Are you with your shirt off watching BuzzFeed Tasty videos? Like, what are you jacking like. off to food videos? They were just but making yeah, hot roast. You, you know I masturbate to mashed potatoes being served. <laughs> With with mashed potatoes. It's just <laughs> yeah. that's, mashed, that's, mashed, that's, mashed potatoes with mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mashed potatoes. Ew. <laughs> so what was the end, Keisha? What did you tell them? Did you respond? I didn't respond, but I did. They actually had my because I was like, whatever, this is some bullshit. But they actually had my password and that had me a little nervous. Like, so I had to change all my passwords, whatever. But I'm not in Detroit. They found out she was from Detroit in her password and they apologized though. But something really weird happened where somebody from Instagram had been calling me and I'm like, how did he get my number? And he was like, well, you know what? Since you didn't give me a number, I'll just go back to your DMs. And I was like, this is. Oh, snap. 
I was like, like, I called Brennan. I was like, yo, <laughs> it might have been Cam. I was like, how could they get my information? He was like, well, he would have to go on the dark web. And I he was sailed like, sailed over the creepiness and went back to creepiness. Like, oh, this is weird. I'll just go back to your DMs. <laughs> yes. And the thing is, the dude DMs me like every day to the point where it's creepy on DM. Like, it's, it's too much on DM. Then just straight text me, like, hey, and said his name. Like, I was supposed to know who it is. I was like, who is this? He was like, oh, so it's so wild. This is wild. Was it what? a deep, was it a DM you responded to? No, I never responded to him. You know how if you don't respond, it goes to the request, but you can keep checking it. So like, I literally have like a hundred DMs from this dude. Like he DMs me like five, six times a day. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, that's and a I was problem. like, how, how did he get my number? Like that, oh, that is wild. That's a problem. Yeah. Well, look, I don't, that's why I don't be over there in the request. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> if you, real people always I find a way. Been, listen, I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. I have been getting a lot of the, the, the suggestions off of the internet now. I know I said <laughs> <laughs> hit me up on my inbox and, and send your suggestions. I'm not going to that box. I went to that box a couple times last week and it was just so much shit in there. I was just like, I can't do this no more. All right, I'm not going to be taking your suggestions. I love y'all. but <laughs> All right, y'all got to stop suggesting shit like, great taste against roast me. No, nigga. We've been doing this show for over a year. We ain't done it yet. You know why? Because it's not a good one. We're not going to do that. And yeah, instead, we'll do sausage and bacon again. again. Great taste. No, we like <laughs> both those shows. Somebody did actually send me a good suggestion. It's like you need to tell Kev. It was like a dating show. It was me. I don't know. It was like two other maybe singles. <laughs> it's, it's a dating I show. The guy's like this dating show. Me and Keisha. And then it's just <laughs> do we get along? <laughs> no cameras. Super well, really cheap. No cameras. Day. No sound. What I'm asking is, you put, can I date Keisha? It's really we <laughs> need the production. I don't even need I to sent shoot you it. one one time to here. You ain't used it. I thought it was dead. You said you shot me one. Yeah. You do. You you did it on my inbox. I texted it to you. Oh, okay. it was a, uh, it was a, uh, uh, the Valentine's Hearts versus Candy Corn. God, that's the one I forgot. I forgot and I could not remember it. We're gonna do that next week because that's fucking amazing. What a Valentine's Heart. The little white thing with like love you on the little chalky, yeah. Uh, that's gonna be Those great. Terrible. Again, we're gonna do that next week. She just or you could do right peaks now. versus like whatever candy. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do that that one too. We're gonna do yeah. both of those. These are the worst things, Ty. Peeps are terrible, and so are hearts. Yeah, so, so we pick we sometimes we have that's why you gotta ones. pick. You we're pick unless you have two evils. You know what was always disgusting to me? I'm sure this is unpopular opinion. But I thought about that when you said peeps, it reminds me of like Twinkies. You don't like yeah, Twinkies? I don't like Twinkies. I don't, I don't really uh, like The texture, I don't know. like the... Yeah. I don't like them either. I, I mean, never like, ate I, a whole I, lure. I, I, actually, I can't remember the last time I ate a Twinkie. You know you got a Twinkie diary. March 17th, 11th, 12th. That's just not real bad to hear. <laughs> Chocolate filled oh, from the gas station off people in the bread. It's just, oh, it's just all dates. It's just like March 12th again, March 12th p.m. Again. <laughs> it's not even March a detail. 13th, Hudson. Well, I, bought a six pack, I was at the airport and I had another. That's the great. airport. You, you tell niggas shit in confidence and they just thought about being crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's, that's crazy. Oh, boy. Twinkies are the worst. I don't, I don't, I could never eat one again. I wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me at all. They They're would not discontinue. Terrible. And they, they were. I don't dislike them. I just don't like them. They're just, I never got the whole thing. By the way, totally unrelated, but on the point of Keisha, on the History Channel, they did like a reenactment of like the candy bar wars. And mm -hmm. like, bro, it was wild. Like the dude who created Reese's Pieces worked for the dude who created Hershey's and he was getting fire from Hershey's and he was using Hershey's chocolate to start the first Reese's Pieces. He went out on his own. They were kind of repossessed his house. He took a briefcase full of the first Reese's Pieces and left for two weeks and sold it. It was like the that dude who made Baby Ruth. This is true. Bro. And it's super dramatic. It's super dramatic on the history. He I left with a briefcase of Reese's? Yes. I'm, I kid you not, Pat. Me and Melissa were watching Loose? on Valentine's Day weekend. No, no, they were packaged. Okay. So the dude who made Baby Ruth the candy, he named it after Babe Ruth, and then Babe Ruth, the baseball player, tried to make his own candy, and the dude sued him for using the name, and he won because wow. he had Baby Ruths out. It's crazy, wow. bro. Well, there wait. Was an awesome story. 
so wait, what was uh, Baby Ruth, the real one's candy bar called? He tried to call it the same thing? He tried to call it Babe Ruth. And they and were like, like the dude was like, nope, that's too close to my name. And the dude was like, that's really my name, though. He my was like, name. I don't care. I've been selling this candy for... That's why I always tell people, you people always rush to copyright something. It's better to make something and sell it because when you get to copyright law, if you had something on sale first, you're going to more than likely win. Mm -hmm. Having the idea submitted versus having something for sale, the person who had sell, sold something first usually wins. But it was crazy, bro. But he didn't He didn't uh, have to buy the rights from Baby Ruth for the name nope. in the first place? Nope, because he said it was coincidence. He said the, the name had come from something else unrelated to baseball. He didn't even know about baseball. He said that in court. But the truth was, he was like, Babe Ruth is the most popular person in the world right now. If I sell this candy bar, people will think it's his. And it worked. It sold like stupid Damn. crazy. <laughs> it was wild. Damn. Yeah, that was the History Channel, man. They don't they 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 switched the game up. All right. Well, listen, let's put it to a vote real quick. And um, what, what pizza? Uh, yeah. Oh, pizza. thin crust or Chicago style? Thin crust pizza for me. Okay. It's the thin crust for me. <laughs> I wonder how much longer that has. I literally was thinking that <laughs> this morning. I don't like it that much no more. It's the, for me, like every time someone says it now, I'm just like. Hey, listen, I don't like most of them, but every now and then some give me, when, when Ronnie said, uh, no, nah, no, nah, when, uh, who's that? Uh, Sydney. And my he, he, he asked my wife what she liked about me. It's the hips for me, nigga. I was done for. <laughs> oh, God. I think I would have liked it. Good times. It was a good time. Anyway, uh, so Pat, what you got? Thin crust. And Ty? Pepperoni. I would prefer the Chicago style because I, I like thicker pizza over the thin crust, even though I've never been to Chicago or had the Chicago style. But I, I feel like I would like that. I've never been to Chicago. You never had it? Why? you never been to Chicago? No, I'm supposed Why? to be going, uh, I'm supposed to be going either next month or May, but I've never been. Okay. I, you know what? I would go, deep crust, but I'm thinking, I mean, I would go deep, deep dish Chicago style, but I'm thinking about like eating pizza on the go or like at somebody's house and like deep dish every time, even if you're at somebody's house, it's a lot. Like you got to hear you ate a hot dog on a skateboard. You could eat a Chicago <laughs> style pizza. That's a good balance actually. And he didn't miss a beat. First of all, I didn't know you could skateboard. I wasn't he saying that it video. like, uh, uh, I thought, because you're always the person like leave to here alone and then. No, hey, I was saying like, you can it. do it. Like, I believe in you. The ones you trust to hear, it's always the ones you keep close. No, like, I believe that you Thank can you do so it. Watching another episode of the podcast. <laughs> I'm going to give a big shout out to our special guest. He uh, assembled the hot dog on the skateboard too. He put all the pickles and <laughs> all the fixings. This unfortunately will be Ty Davis's last time on <laughs> Oh well, man! You guys enjoyed her. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. Again, I'm I'm not going to read your suggestions in my one time. strike. That's all right. I, I got a new show. I got a new show called Rooming with the Homies. You can be on. It's going to be on <laughs> seven and nine. <laughs> we all get in the same room and we chop it up. Yeah, I'll, I'll have you on. <laughs> we'll just do it like live on YouTube or something like that. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you why I ain't never worried about Kev still in the show. Because he don't want to do something every night. He ain't. No, gonna... I, I've <laughs> been trying to convince to hear not to do it for the longest. And he yeah, don't listen. He's been me. trying to get me to end Zoom with him. He's like, nigga, the world's open back up. Give it up. But I found a good balance. We got Ty as a guest host. We got Nick Carthay as a guest host. So I don't have to do it by myself now. So this is the best. And I didn't say end it to hear. I didn't say end it. I just said stop hosting it every single time Pull yourself, back. no matter yeah. what. Yeah. Pull, yeah. pull back is all I said. If you got a shoot that ends at six, don't rush home. And be on Zooming at six thirty. That's all I said. I love the brand. I, I want you to keep doing it. Now, Ty might host tomorrow for me. I don't know because I, I want to come to the show tomorrow night. Yeah, and we're gonna be on the road, bro. We're gonna be traveling. Oh, yeah, gonna be on the road. We have shows on Thursday, flying out on Wednesday night. Facts. What you gonna do? All right, y'all. Love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and tapping in. Yeah. See y'all. We, we know it was only three. I, I don't want to see it in the comments. Y'all only did two topics. We know. Y'all got in that intro. So don't be all in the comments with that shit talking. Oh, there's only we know. We know how to get <laughs> This is a rogue episode. No.
Rogue. The Rogue episode, man. The con, we don't be talking about the topics anyway. Is it longer than an hour? Is all y'all really need to be concerned? That's about? all y'all be caring about, and it yeah. is. Even when it, it it it's longer than an hour, we love yeah. y'all. We love y'all. We do. Y'all know we fuck with y'all, but sometimes y'all be saying shit in the comments. We be like, nigga. <laughs> he is getting a lot off his chest. He is. <laughs> And it's a big <laughs> chest, and we could be here a while. <laughs> <laughs> it better me than you, because everything would have to come from underneath your breath. Breast. God damn it. Oh. Oh. Dang, and that was a good one to hear. Uh, <laughs> Unbelievable. Be brave. Oh, be be brave. Brave. <laughs> Hey, listen, I want to get a jersey that says the great Fumbino. I got to get <laughs> It was so good to hear. I was like, dang, this I, as you were saying, I was like, man, this joke finna hit too. <laughs> I was just waiting for it to land and I was finna just take the L. And the last were coming. I thought Keisha take a deep breath. I was like, ah. The breath? <laughs> she was like, gonna be funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as you did that. The laugh still came. It just wasn't directed at me no more. It <laughs> was it? I get some laughter from anything or something I do or say, I'm it was good. the last word of the sentence, too. You went up for the dunk and exploded. Pat, I was there. Right there. I, know, Pat. I know, Pat. I was there. I was there. I was there. <laughs> you went up for the dunk and exploded. I know, I know, Pat. I was there. I, was there. I saw it happen. I witnessed it. It was actually me that did it. I know. I know my nigga. Right. Sorry to hear. Sorry, man. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I love you. I love you.